Time for a flashback. Good morning, little fluffy thing. How are you today? Ah, uh, glad you're so happy. I guess Kasika already left, huh? You didn't drive him out, did you? No bitey scratchy? Well, that settles then, I guess. You've been good with him lately, haven't you? <laughs> if only Yukapara shared your enthusiasm. Something tells me he'll get over it though. Do you have the play right now? Alright, alright. Where'd you hide your toll this time? Lady Fluffy Tin's favorite toy and stop at some pumps of her battling around. If I see her any while I'm out, I should pick up a new one. Who knows? That might even bring us good luck. What's this? Kasuka must be looking at it before he left. A shrine in Pain Hill has all patterns for the case he's been working on the last few months. Yuka Mora has been giving him hell, saying it's such a minor case is wasting precious police resources, but bullhead always, he won't give it up. I can't say I get it either, honestly, chasing after some weird kids and vandals isn't his style. It's weird, he's been kind of obsessive about the case. But when I ask him for details, he shrugs me off. I will ask him about when he comes back. Where is he anyway? I, it's a bit exhausting me with someone who's on their own schedule all the time. At least he bought a coffee before he left, otherwise you'd be in the world of hurt. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you love this thing so much. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad you makes you so happy, little one. <laughs> Hello, neighbor! Oh, hey, Uni. Do you uh, want to come in? Nope! I'm on my way out, but I want to drop this off first. Uh, it suddenly has a distinct odor. Ancient family recipe, creamy curry donuts, curry donut, honey curry powder, the scent is fire hot chili sands hidden in the batter. We have been quite the kick, these bad boys will clean your soul with fire, inside and out. Wait, how are the chilies hidden in the batter, you mean? I'm not too, not so sure. Ah, I don't know to thank you, your body will thank me after you eat them. But anyways, how have you been? Why well, see you like these convenient store box lunches and junk food? You need to take care of yourself. I'll be happy to cook for you two if you want. You're welcome. Round any time. How about tonight? Or maybe but you're done with working sometime. Tonight may be a bit tricky. Our shifts can run a little late. Unless you're happy with us dropping around uh, 2 a 2am. Hmm, you make a good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough with you clumping out now. I am right beneath you, you know? Sorry, Yumi. You can blame the clumping of Kazuku. I'm light as a feather. Don't be sorry. There's a place of living below someone so interesting. And again, there was that one time you started singing at 4am. You were shouting something about the, the night of being able to end until you sang some idol song. What was it again? Hey, <laughs> that's okay. You can forget about that if you like. To be honest, I liked it. It was usually to hear you listen up. Plus, I like to think it gives me a window into Detective ETO's real side. You know what I mean? My real side? Uh, well, I do like karaoke. Here we go sometime. I can sing in English too. I'm a pro. My girlfriend's side. See it. Damn, that's my work phone. Oh, okay. I should get going. Anyway, bye. 
Don't forget my offer, okay? Come over at any time. I will. Sorry, Yumi. Got to take this. Hi. Itero here. Kazuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Thanks for picking up. I didn't know who else to call. I was wondering you where you wandered off. Why are you calling me on this phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Sorry, I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I've made a big break. Yeah, what? The mystery of the broken coffee maker? Yeah, no, but unfortunately the case will likely remain unsolved. The shine that case I'll be working on, I think I found a pattern. All the shrines are attached to people whose name is said Koana. There's so many ways to write a Koana in Chinese characters, and we didn't see the connection. It's like our suspect has been going up down Tokyo, going to shrines one by one looking for someone. That would explain how the pattern seems so random. Does it explain the weird markings on the all the random violence though? No, but it's a straight out. I had a bit of a snoop through the records. I think she'll be in Kamakara next. I'm headed there now. Can I be here there a little over an hour? What do you need me to do? Our oh, friend is coming. I knew I could you. Don't trust anyone else. Just about to arrive, so I get started on the legwork, interviewing people in the area and seeing what they know. Meanwhile, once you get to here, I need some more official stuff. Surveillance, footage, public records, and the like. I was to go on, but together we should find something. Uh, so I get the boring stuff. So it's been fine for showing up late, huh? <laughs> I'll get you a drink after, promise. Oh yeah, keep an eye on out for red paint. It's been all of the other crime scenes. See you soon. And be careful, if I'm right, this person might be dangerous. In retrospect, the way Kazuka sounded the phone that day was off. I knew it's normal with you, Zim, it was a hesitation. I was shaking his voice that told me something was wrong. At this time, I choked up the after work. After all, he hadn't been sleeping much in the week's power. If I only knew it and hadn't put up a wall of all, to to hide away from it, instead of explaining away his obsession with the case, ignoring me, him. As he tossed and turned, I should have told him. In all the fairness, I wasn't the only one trying to ignore reality. Kozaku was a fierce investigator. Once he grabbed hold of something, he pulled it, no matter how dangerous it was. He kept me in the dark as long as he could. But in the end, he needed me, so what he called me, he tried his best to laugh at Jack and throw off the scent. It worked, right? Because I met it. I love the cherry blossoms this time of year. Kazuki and I will have to arrange a picnic before they go. Red paint. I guess Kazuki's hunch was right. Why this house? What if our plastics may be something? Between sacred and us mortals, trying blogs must be up ahead. Oh, yeah. I can see floating on the river that has more red markings on it. Do be careful if you chat so I don't disturb it. I could use the bamboo stock scale where it's floating through. No way I'd be able to break it with my bare hands though. Shoot to break free. There's gotta be something else that I could use apart from a gun. Um. I don't like this idea at all. But hey, let's shoot the damn tree. (sighs) 
Using the broken bamboo, I can easily push the object out of the water and balance the survey. Train pass, just like I pointed to. There was a red paint on it. I should go to the station to see what it, who this belongs to. Hi. What can the great Margaria help you with? I found this commuter pass by the stream. Can you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, yeah, sure, just... Is, is, is that blood? Oh, the red mark is now it's paint, I think. You think? Blood isn't really my thing. It's definitely not blood. Smell it. No, 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 I need to believe you, right? It's not blood. Hey, no, yeah. Okay, a little bit gut of you. That's fine, no problem. It's just pain. No blood. Nope, no blood. Deep breeze, Bulgaria. Alright, sorry about the temporary loss of composure. That would be endlessly fun in this pass. Damn thing, I'll just swipe it again here. Ah, let's see. As fortune would have it, I know the owner of this car. Belongs to me, youngest daughter of the Kawana family. A very interesting family indeed. Oh, what makes them so interesting? Well, they own a lot of land in the area, and have done a considerable amount of local shrines as well. I often see May working there. A house next to the station for laundry, hung up outside, actually belongs to her grandma. Except for May, they're all pretty cool. Consisted a lot. She's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to see me about it. I know all about these passes after all. I'm an expert on train passes. May's a good kid, but you think she's got involved in various types too? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing, but I wouldn't mind talking to her regardless. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now, thanks. A dark room covered in dust. Hard to believe someone actually lives here. Doesn't seem to anyone home. That it sounded like it came from behind me. Nope. <laughs> I'll check out other things first. All right. <laughs> A suspicious door opening. And nothing else to investigate. Excuse the intrusion. I'm with the police. Is anyone here? I don't like this one bit. Who are you? How did you get in my house? Sorry, I didn't mean to stop you. My name is Etier. I'm with the police. The door was unlocked. Uh, you think you because you're the police, you just walked through my house of in duty effort, I locked the door. What are you saying your name was? No, no matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in, you can see yourself out. The door, I know, I locked it. You were followed. Followed? No, no. We're looking for your granddaughter, May. I want to ask her you about the red markings outside. Hey, what do you know what to prefer? She's a good girl, leave her on. That's what I needed some police sniffing around my house. When I came here, I wanted to be alone. So that's that. So that. My family and I could live in peace. All you're doing is throwing on one for attention. Besides, I don't care about those superstitious marks. So you know what those marks are? No, I want some remain marks and reds so they wouldn't get last. I got to those who pass it since picture point. More like it's a vandal. Shush. Can you hear that? Why after all this time? Is that you? Ah, she's gone. 
What is it called to you, sir? Perhaps you could be the one to free me from this torment. Perhaps these old bones have something to learn If it wants to leave, then now uh, they'll give it to me. Whoa. Slow down. Give me what? What are you talking about? You will help me, won't you? Take it from me. It wants to go with you. Sorry, child. Sorry? What is this? I feel strange. Years went spent trying to answer that very question. Spritless years. I don't know. Have to get here. I, I'm sorry. Yes, take it away from this place. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world was jarred out of focus. My vision of swelled and shifted, my legs became weak, and a wild smell assaulted my nostrils. I pushed my way back to the entrance. I need to get out of that house. I am slowly going crazy. The wave of sickness that overcame me became the fate of the edge of the old musty house. I immediately, my mind began to write off what I experienced as a fluke. Things brought up by the lack of sleep in a strange case. After a few long pulls of spring air, my head exploded and to the west. With every step I took out of the door, the strong motion that felt holding the mask got further away as well. Maybe it was the old carnal wood who made my mind go to such strange places. What other explanation could there be? But as I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted a goosebump. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had grown white from gripping it so tightly. Why? Why would I have had held on to it? If I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction to try and break through my muddled thoughts. Damn birds. Go up to your fault. Oh crap. The day at the shrine I saw Rena for the first time. The girl who was just like been chasing who would be his killer six months later. Her eyes skipped darting around, making her mental state impossible to read. Until that day, I never seen her, but she felt familiar. As a big daughter, I began to feel one easy. At knife point was May Kawana, who might have been dragged to the air shortly after her eyes. Even the warm spring air, I remember her shivering going down my spine. Dark. Oh, what's going on here? Everything's under control, Joe. Stay behind me. Who is she? Tell her to go away. If she doesn't, I'll do it, I swear. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything, please. Rena? This is my partner, Detective Ijo. I told you she'll be company, remember? See? She's staying right there behind me. Like I said, she no one's trying to trick you. But you look. What took you so with you anyway? I tread lightly and follow my lead. Hey, your name is Rena, right? Yeah. Hi, Rena. I'm. My name is Amy. I'm a friend. Please. Help me. You're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I don't trust him. Keep her back. We won't take one more step, promise. You 
know my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should tell her what you told me. About the voices and what you call it alright, the dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. So you can make them stop, can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They're very sick, but when they came with me, I got them help. They got better. I doubt it's the same situation as that. I'm sick, it's not real. That's right. Though I know it doesn't seem that way. It's not your fault. It, it, it's not? No, of course not. If I was in your position, I'll be scared too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. That's right. No, you're wrong. You can't see that. It is that all. What's down there? Eating everything up. Eating me up. I don't see anything, Rina. It's a beautiful spring day, nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It's below us all the time. It just shows me things, things that it wants me to do. I can't eat, I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've been sick a long time. It won't get any better unless you let us help you. No, you're lying. You want me to hurt me, like everyone else. I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. I need the mask. That's the only one that fixes. So stay away. Rita, there's no mask here. Isn't that right, mate? Yes. Yes, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at this show. And Rita, May wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hurt her if she doesn't do anything, right? Quiet, the both of you. You're walking together, huh? That is right. I know it is here. Where's the mask? Where's the mask? Please stop. I don't know anything about it. I don't swear. Please let me go. Hey, hey, we talked about this earlier, right? Violence only makes everyone nervous. People do silly things when they're nervous. I don't know about you two, but it's hard to focus clearly on empty stomach. I'm starving. Are you two hungry? Oh, my favorite food is pizza. Hey, May, what's your favorite type of pizza? Pizza? <laughs> you want to know about? Um, I don't know. I, I like margarita. Oh, a little boring, but a classic. How about you, Rita? What's your favorite pizza? I can get one brought in for all of us. Much more pleasant way to talk than an opposite end of the shrine, if you ask me. Pizza. Oh, what about the... I promise we'll talk about it some later, but first, pizza. I like pizza too before. Not now. Before? Before what, Rita? Maybe you could tell me about it. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick ever since that day. No, no, no. Stop thinking about it. Mom, everyone. I know it all seems impossible, but you have so many things to overcome before you get better. The sickness of the mind will make the body too. I bet once the doctors have look at you, they can find a way to help with that too. Hey you two, will you join us try it? What's your favourite pizza? Oh, uh, margarita of course. You too. He seems to be all the rage, see? No one's out to get you. You're all rather Let's go peacefully. Stop. I don't want to hear any more about that. Don't you get it? I won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Pull that knife out, you know. Then we could help you find wherever it's that you're looking for. No, I know what you're doing. This bitch knows you're hiding from it. But I know that it is the right one. I can feel it here. And if she doesn't give it to me, I can make little May bleed. Rena, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if May knew anything about this part, she will tell you. May? May, or not her. The one next to you. You said she was a friend, why you would lie? I can hear that. I can see them all around her. Shadows, voices. You mean, you do? She doesn't know anything about this, Rita. You're a little scared of her, but the fear is playing into your signals. You have to trust. You see, is it there? No, stop lying. You don't get it. It's real. She's seen it. But why? Why is it awake? Why, 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 why? Why is it that? Can you hear it? it sounds like a dance down there. 
no, 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 get back. Can't you hear it? Oh my god. I can stop. You said you can help me, so make it stop. Please make it stop. Please. Um. I'm gonna let Tanaka handle it. Read out, read out. Look at me. We're in this together. I don't see anything. There's nothing there. You're sick, remember? I know how it seems, but it's not. Don't look at her, look at me. I'm not saying all this to hurt you, I'm saying it to help you. No, 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 no. Wants to help me. That's not true. I wouldn't have followed you all the way here if I didn't. You came here? For me? Really? That's right. Things don't have to be like this. You're young and it's not too late to be happy. Happy? I don't, I don't deserve it. I'm sick. Sours? I'm broken. That's why you want the rest. There's nothing wrong with me. We're all broken, but it doesn't mean we can't put ourselves back together. Sometimes you just need a little help. It's not real. It's no, no, it can't be, but... What if you can't fix me? I'll do everything I can. First, you need to drop the knife. Maze and it involved. It, it has to be a trick. But I don't want to be alone all the time. You're going to get hurt? I'm not going to hurt her, but stay back. Thank you, Arena. That's all I need to hear. Before that day, the possibility of ever using my gun on another human being never occurred to me. In my mind, doing so was a failure as a detective. A sign that you hadn't fought the situation through. That's all the options have been. The eye, arm behind you would never point to a gun and kill us, saying, as I stood under a cherry blossom, the eye of it was placed with someone else. I was a passenger in my own body, looking the horror of the girl identical to me, began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in the din of thousand terrified voices. I wish I could see I lost consciousness before they remember what I did, but that isn't true. I'll remember every moment, every second, every face of at what I did. Uh, it's best to. Hmm. I know this is essential to the plot, and our time is broken. So, in other words. I have to kill her. Because you can't be in a situation if you didn't kill her. There's no way I can let the time run out. Well. Time to cause a big issue. <laughs> Ichiro, what are you doing? Ichiro, put the weapon down. Don't, don't do this! The shouts never reached my ears. A world that I've been in moments before no longer exists. Towards darkness, it was only me, the girl, and a voice told me to do that one thing. So I did. As my finger pulled the trigger, Rina looked at me and smiled. I wondered why she smiled then, knowing at the moment that was about to happen to her. It was as she knew exactly what was happening to me. She looked at me right in the eye as the bullet ripped through her skull. The smile never left her face, even then. Even after she died. Well, in American terms, that was a good day. In other countries, it's horrible. Oh, Ami, can you hear me? Nurse, nurse, she's awake. Listen to me, Ami. You're gonna be fine. You collapse after the gunshot. Huh? Gun? What are you talking about? Oh no, that girl. What did I do? Hey, don't move. You need to rest. What did I do? Army, calm down, nurse. Detective Tanak, can you just hold your still for a moment? Everything's gonna be fine. The nurse is gonna give you something to help you sleep. Tanaka, where am I? I don't remember coming here. What's it's alright, Ami. We're in the hospital. 
I'm here for you. Now I know how you always like getting ahead of me, but please listen to me to the end, okay? A few days ago, there was a hostage situation in Kamakura. It ended badly. You, you shot that girl. Then, well, um, the doctors are saying you had some kind of mental breakdown. Are you awake? Good. How are you feeling today, Miss You too? You're much calmer now. Yeah, I guess I was a bit confused after blacking out. Oh, yes. According to the studies you've read, it's quite common for people who have experienced this, the kind of trauma you did. Tell me, do you feel the following symptoms? Please answer yes or no only. Shortness of breath? <laughs> yes, I feel like there's weight on my chest. Nausea? Yes, I feel dizzy. What happened to me? Learn vision. Yeah, now you mentioned that I can't seem to focus properly. Fatigue. Yes, I think maybe I should lie down. Well, we've given you a mild anthracytic light in a recent episode. It has our duty to make sure you are mentally sleep with you. You understand? Yes. Good, let me explain your medicine to you. We have conducted a series of tests since the incident in Kamakura. We found that no evidence or history of neurological damage, schizophrenia, or bipolar disorder. We're only often observed a stress induced breakdown. For your safety and safety of us, however, we strongly recommend you take these pills daily for a period of several months. Take a look at your chart, Miss Yoto. Help you keep you well being of workers in the public sector. We've developed a spin system to monitor various aspects of your well being. By looking at the statistics, you're clearly insane. Very professional, well, kind of investigation, very good at investigation, and a bit neurotic. Well, SPIN stands for Sanity, Professionalism, Investigation, and Neurosis. You will be monitoring your SPIN attributes closely to in subsequent checkups, and I suggest you do the same. In light of recent events, let's first consider your sanity, your ability to actually perceive the world around you. Without taking your daily medication, Given your condition, incidents like your recent experience are more likely to occur again. For now, I strongly suggest you take your medication. Since your first dose is due today, please take it down here. Hmm. I feel like we still need to be insane to do this investigation. Well, let's continue. Oh yeah, I was right. <laughs> Unfortunately, as you might have noticed, there are some side effects. For taking antipsychotic medication will decrease your chance of any future psychotic episodes. It's not supposed to be drowsy and unfocused. I would say my investigation skills is more in problem than my sanity. <laughs> as a detective, this of course means you investigate the realities and your aptitude for seeing the details of the case. For your partner may mention to have experienced solutions at the time of your breakdown, so taking a vacation is imperative to keep your mind clear of these visions. I should warn you, however, if for whatever reason you are unable to take your medication, your sanity, as mentioned, is very low. You may suffer from a total psychotic breakdown. So have to balance it. And as I'm sure I didn't tell you, for some of you, in your position, that would cause both the partner and your family a considerable amount of embarrassment. Oh yeah, this is Japan. No, if members of my family have a, a psychotic breakdown, I certainly do not feel embarrassed. <laughs> I guess that's just because of the country I live in. So please remember to take your medication, your CTO. In order to avoid Missed doses from a routine. We recommend you keep your pills in a familiar place like your apartment so you can take them every time you come home. You should also be careful with neurotic actions, endlessly talking to people, placing back and forth, trampling around meaninglessly, and the like. Studies show that neurosis can act as a multiplayer that exponentially speeds up a patient's loss of sanity. 
This should give you a current condition to be dangerous. We found that patients have become less neurotic by taking time out of the out to take care of themselves. Detective Knock tells me you have a pet. Perhaps spending the same time with the animal, relaxing and chatting, and getting a good night's sleep would help with the neurosis you see on your chart. These stress relieving actions will have no negative side effects in relation to your medication or condition. I'll leave it to your superiors to discuss professionalism with you. It has a measurable effect on your spin chart. Do you understand the importance of the spin? Or do you want to explain it to you again? No, I understand. <laughs> Kazuki. Thank you God you came. I know I, I need to get out of here. They've got me taking enough sets of the knockout damn Albert. Did they know tell you where they let me out? I missed you. Besides, I'm going nuts lying around here all day. Huh. <laughs> Funny you, you should say that, Albert. As I think, the going crazy thing is what they've worried about too. That's not funny. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but life you can either laugh or you can cry. If you ask me, it's better to laugh. It shouldn't be much longer now. The doctor says he wants to serve you a little longer as all. Well. How are you feeling? Better. And I don't remember what happened very well. The whole thing's kind of hazy. I remember that I was feeling strange, like there was someone else there with me and mask it. I'll stop you right there, Army. I've heard enough about that thing. It was all over the report. Yukamari gave me hell for the last fight he will even mention of it in the air. Where is it now? That's not important. You made a mistake. No, that's not fair. Given the situations, I don't blame you. Even on the report, you can barely even call it a mistake. A highly unstable suspect in a knife to a girl's throat you took the shot. No matter what other people say, I'm gonna send you by both now and at the hearing. I don't know about you soul, but I knew you had a reason for what you did. You went to you already decided to take your side, but please, no more talk about that mask. It may only hurt your case and keep you in the hospital longer. Trust me, nobody wants that, least of all me. Not to mention Yukamara's had a hell of a time stopping the brass from suspending you. So help him a bit, will you? Whatever you think you saw that day wasn't supernatural. Besides, thinking about it, it isn't gonna help you get better. So no more about it, okay? You're right. It was a confusing situation. I guess my mind is grasping at straws. Come to terms with it. You know, Kazaki, I think I need to a break from all this, from being a cop. I didn't sign up to hurt, to kill people. I know we'll talk about it later, for now we should get some rest. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. Until things didn't become okay. Alright, I really need to end it here. I'll see you all next time with this continued series. I don't know where this game will end when I stop it. I find it interesting in this scene, you have many choices of how to deal with the sewer. But either way, I'll see you all next time.